Hello viewers, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a space background in GIMP. So, first thing, first thing we gotta do is have a black background. So take the paint bucket tool, get, put it on black, change it to black. Next we're going to go to filter, noise, RGB noise. Um, uncheck independent RGB and turn this all the way up. And, yeah, preview, hit OK. And we're going to get this texture right here. So next thing we're going to do is go to colors, levels, bring the levels all the way down as far as you can put them. Don't go all the way, otherwise it will go pitch black, but as far as you can without turning it entirely black. And we have our tiny specks, tiny stars, if you will. So now what we're going to do is add a bit of glare to them. So filters, light and shadow, sparkle. And we're going to set the flare intensity to 0.1. Spike length we're going to set to 15. Actually, let's turn the intensity down a little bit. So 0 0.07. Hit OK. And here we go. We have our tiny stars. And it's looking fairly decent so far. So next thing we need to add is the blue kind of mist you see in quite a few sci-fi films and in some, you know, in some images from space. So go to layer, new layer. I'm going to call this the mist. Hit OK. Um, uncheck the background layer. I'm going to make this layer black as well. Go to filter, render, clouds, different clouds. And um, however thick you want the cloud to be, make sure this is a lower number. So if you have this at a high number, like 16 by 16, they're going to be quite thin clouds. But if you have it to like 10 by 10, it's going to be a lot thinner clouds. And since this is a widescreen comp, I'm going to have the Y size slightly uh, smaller than the X size. So 9 by 10 and put the detail all the way up. Hit OK. Next thing we're going to do is add a bit of contrast. So we're going to go to colors, curves and just, you know, adjust them like so hit OK and the next part we're going to do is is optional but I prefer to do this is add a either an airbrush or a um, standard brush with the opacity turned down but I prefer airbrush um, we're gonna take one of the um, brushes like the acrylic brushes turn the size up and I'm gonna darken the top and the bottom leaving just a small line going through so this is completely optional. This is just what I do. So I'm just going to speed this up as I go through. So you just hold it down and, you know, darken the areas. We're basically going to dim them. Don't turn them so they're completely black, but, you know, just dim them slightly so the middle is slightly brighter. So I'm just going to go through and do that now. And we have the general texture for the mist. So next part we're going to do is add a bit of color to it. So we're going to go to colors, colorize. And this is when you can experiment a little bit and choose your own sort of style for your scene. So some people might have it like a uh, reddish purple color, like, like kind of like this. I think that looks pretty cool, but I'm going to go for the traditional deep space blue. So if we go to about, I'd say about 213 is where I'd go. And as you can see, the uh, middle clouds kind of look kind of overexposed. If you've ever taken a picture of a cloud, you know, it looks like that. I quite like the effect. Some people might not. So, you know, it's based on your own personal preference, but I quite like the effect here. So next we're going to do is put the mist on the bottom. And we're going to change the name of this to... Oh, whoa. Don't know what I did there. Um, I'm going to have this as small stars. We're going to set the small stars to overlay. And ta-da! We magically have a space looking background. Looking quite good so far. So next part we're going to do is add the slightly bigger stars that have more of a flare to them. So to do this we're going to make a new layer. So layer, new layer. Call this... You know, we're going to call this bigger stars. Like so. And we're going to take the paintbrush tool um, either the, oh, not the actual star brush, the either hardness 100 brush or the hardness 75. It's kind of up to you here. And the size of the brush, I wouldn't go any bigger than 8. So I'm going to go start off with 7. 
So we're going to, again, fill this background with black. And then we're basically going to take this brush and turn it to white and dot a few random stars around like so. And do this with a few different size brushes. So do it with some seven brushes, do it with some fives. If you're going to a high number such as seven or eight on the brush size, don't do too many. Otherwise, when you add the glare later on, it will be it will look way too big and kind of out of place. So I'm just going to do that quickly. I'm going to change the size of this brush a few times as well. So I'll be right back. And here we have our general star pattern. So next thing we're going to do is add the glare. So filters, light and shadow, sparkle. And we're going to turn the intensity up a bit more from last time. So 0.15 and set the spike length to, let's say, around 30. And hit OK. And here we go. Um, yeah, you can sort of see why I said not to use the bigger brush a bit more. So you can see these bigger ones here from when we had it on 7. We have the slightly smaller ones from when we're on 5, and then these tiny ones from when we're on 3. Um, I personally think I put way too much of the 7 on there. So um, I'm going to quickly go through and then, you know, just get rid of a few of these stars, like so. And there we go. Okay, I just, thought, just wanted to get rid of a few of those because it looked way over the top in terms of how many stars we had. So then we're going to set the stars up here. Set the blending mode to screen and it will overlay it on top. You can see it's all coming together now. Actually, I wonder what happens if we set this to overlay. Okay, don't set it to overlay. <laughs> okay, let's keep it at screen or addition. So let's just say screen for now. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is add a slight bit of color. So to do that, we're gonna go make a new layer yet again, fill it in. Um, this one's going to be on the top layer, so filter, render, clouds, plasma. And this texture on its own, I think, looks absolutely horrendous. I don't like it, but you'll see why we need it in a second. So look for one that's kind of your color. So like if you're having like a red, like a purplish scene, wait until you get a purple section. I'm looking for a blue, so if I go through a few times, I have a good one here. And we are left with this texture. And I want to get rid of um, this horrible noise that we have here. So I'm just going to simply blur it. So filter, blur, motion blur. I'm going to add a bit of motion blur here. Make the length, I don't know, 20. Turn the angle all the way down. Hit OK. And yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Something like this. And if you don't like the color of it, you could just go to hue saturation and, you know, toy around with the hue a little bit, get some interesting looking things. But, yeah, I'm happy with this for now. So now that we've got this texture, we're going to set this texture to overlay. And as you can see, it's added a bit of coloring to it. So you can see from where the texture had purple sections, it's slightly purple around here. And we're going to tone it down a bit. So I'm going to turn it down to about, let's just say 60%. And we're going to put the bigger stars on the top. So they're not affected by it. And voila, you now have your space background. So we have the, uh, I'm going to call this the, uh, of course the nebula colors. So we have the mist, we have the small stars, then we have the nebula colors, then we have the bigger ones. And we're done. So hopefully you've learned a couple of new things from this tutorial. And yeah, that's pretty much it from me. I'm Hayden from Flashback Effects and goodbye viewers.